Hello and thank you for tuning in to Acid's Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on how to set up the FTP function on the Asus RTN 66U. Uh, it's also known as the N900. There is an Asus AC 66U. They're all the same. Um, so I'm going to explain to you how to set it up and how to access it, put files on, take files off and so on. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. So for those of you who know how to access the Rudus firmware, jump a little bit ahead into the video. For those of you who don't, I'm going to explain to you how to do it now. Step one, you need a key or a drive. Connect it into your router. Make sure you've got some files on it. Now to access your router, hold down the Windows key, tap R, type in command, CMD, hit enter, and type in ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. Take a note of your default gateway. Open up a web browser. Put your default gateway into the address bar and log in. Ah, sleepy. Now, you want to click on USB application and then click on AI disk. This is the screen that you're going to see. Now, just to explain to you, I've already done this. I'm going to go through the setup again anyway, but my screen will be just very slightly different to yours. You will be able to follow through with the instructions, so don't worry. Now, I don't have time to go into it in detail, but this is the easiest way to start off. We will be changing this late, later and adding more accounts so you'll be able to set up your limited access or your admin rights. But to start off, keep it simple, choose Limitless. Click Next. Pick a smart name for your domain name to access your FTP. Here's my one. You'll need to type something in and try and pick something you'll remember because you'll have to enter it in with asuscom.com. So, you know, you don't want it to be too difficult. Accept the terms of service, click on next. Now on the next page, you'll be given your URL. This is what you use to access your FTP when you are using an internet connection, wherever you are. And that's the link right there. Take a note of it. Click finish, and you'll be given that same link again and then you'll be given what I like to call the useless link. Chop chop. Okay, so here we are. We have our URL and then we have the useless link. Let's give you a quick preview of what you're going to be looking at. I've already got a few files on my key, so here we are. And just take note that the first folder in my USB key is called USB key. This will make a little bit more sense in a minute. When you click on the useless link, this is your internal link, you get the exact same page, but it's useless because you can't put anything into your key through this window. You can only download from it. And why would you want to download from it when you can transfer files directly off the key? And I'll explain to you how to do that um, in another few minutes. So pay no attention to this. This is what you need to take a note of. Now we want to set up our user accounts. This is where we're changing limitless to admin or to limited. Here you can see I've got two accounts. Um, how you set up your accounts is step number one. Click share with the account. Now you're going to be able to click on this plus symbol here which will allow you to add accounts. So enter in your account name. We'll call this guy what do we call him? We call him Dave. Stick in Dave's password. Click Add. Next step, go to Media Server. Make sure it's switched on. Choose a folder that you want to be your root directory folder. This will be the folder that you will start off sharing and this is what I was talking about earlier on USB key so you click in that box and you get this window here and you choose 
whichever folder you want to start off with. So I've started off with this one here. Click on OK. Click on Apply. Step 2. You need to set your permissions for your internal access. You don't really need to worry about admin. Admin's got full rights. But here we've got Bob. Bob should have full rights too. And, but Dave will not. So we want to give Dave full access. So this means locally on the computer when he accesses through a Windows share to your USB disk, he'll be able to access it properly without any difficulties. Or you for that matter. Step 2. FTP share. And here we need to set your external privileges. So we want Dave to be able to not see this folder from the internet but to be able to see the music folder from the internet. So this would be the privileges that you set up for using the URL. This one here is for when you're accessing it through a Windows here which I'm going to show you now in a second. Miscellaneous settings give your device a good name. Um, so now the, the device name, the key connected to your router is going to be called whatever you enter in there. In our case here it's called Superman and we're going to use this to replace the useless link because the best way to access your key is to use it through Explorer and to do that you access like any other network share by opening up Explorer or my favorite the run box and entering in backslash backslash and the name of your device so here we have our files on the key in an Explorer window and this is cool because now we can drag and drop files in and out very easily um, you're going to be prompted with a login so because your key you're the admin and now we can browse to our folders Oops. ah okay I didn't share that one I shared this one and that's how it works guys so I hope this has been helpful to you all and uh, now you know how to set up your USB key through your Windows, sorry, through your ASUS router. And you know how to access the key on your ASUS router through your Windows operating system. If you have any problems, any questions, if you want to say thanks, please don't hesitate to send me an email on my YouTube channel or send me an email to... my email address and I will be very happy to respond to you. Thank you for watching, hit the like button, tell me what you think, give me your feedback and take care. Goodbye.